That's what I said. At the muffler shop. <laughs> Fix my boo boo. From yes. The other day. You guys saw that previous video. Uh, did a little, little. Oops. Don't straight pipe your your cars, kids. <sighs> to bend it back into really? the right shape, yeah. Is he gonna sell it? No, it's, well, I think he's gonna use it to test fit this muffler, and then he's gonna, he has a replacement. Gotcha, gotcha. Damn, a BMW on a lift, never seen that one before. Yeah, that never happens, yeah. right? Drop a comment if you wanna see uh... uh drop a comment if Ethan should get Workmeisters. Yes. <laughs> that was would look so good on this car versus whatever he has on right now. Do a quick rust check real quick. Oh, it looks pretty good. There's like leaking from the diff or something like that. Okay, I'll... Wait, is that a... That's the, out that's the input flange. Oh, it's leaking? A little bit. I'm gonna, when I do the subframe, I'm gonna touch it all up. Okay. Were you drifting it, is that why? Yeah, exactly. No, I came that way, I don't know. Okay. Stop the cap! <laughs> Dude, Muffler Man is huge. Dude, he's... Dude, he's handling that pipe well, too. Is he packing? Oh, shit. Bruh. So scary, bro. Get this shot right here. That's so scary. Bro. This is what? This is scarier, bro. Griffin and I saw a babe. Huh? And we saw another babe. Oh, yeah, we saw another one of these guys. That dude. Ace hardware right now. What do we get? Anything matter? Matter glossy for the neighbor. For the probably matte. Matte too. Try glossy then. Just be glossy. Dang. This is what I use for my uh hood. Dang! Look at all this paint, dude. Dude, we can literally do a paint job with all this. World's first gold Regamaster? Dude, don't just ruin the Regamasters <laughs> with, with $5 spray paint. Dude, that, dude, that, so dude, that would be like the biggest taboo guys. today. <laughs> the mask yeah, off the tires. Just spray it over the Regas. <laughs> dude, looks so cool, man. Yeah. This is actually good. These are all good painters paint. I'd be down to spray paint a car one day. One day. Let's see. Maybe like an old Civic or something. Yo! I told you to stop doing that shit. Hold on. I'm seeing something here. Yeah, Ethan was just hired at the muffler shop. Doing his own work, you know, really working. This is how Ethan's affording the Meisters. <laughs> it's not working, look at that. Yeah, it is. Oh, wait, it kind of looks better. Yeah. This one's the hardest one. Yeah, this is, this is the most one. Yeah. Damn, you got the big one. Ooh. Smack <laughs> that. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, that looks so good. So cool. That's a brand new exhaust. Hammer in it, bro. That works so that well. That works so well. That, that looks, looks good. Before. Damn, that looks, that looks good now. Oh, he's starting it up. All right. Oh. Hey, it sounds good. It sounds way better than no muffler. The no muffler is a uh, little, little raspy, a little ricey, but this is... It's solid. Good. Yeah, it sounds good. That sounds good.
right, guys, today, uh, we got some parts. We got some parts, uh, from the homeland, so we gotta get this thing open. It is a ride rail. This is for my car. R1. I don't know what that, I don't know if that's supposed to be like an R1 model, but I definitely don't have the R1 model. But they should all be the same, so it doesn't really matter what trim level I have. As long as it's the right type and for the right side, because it's a US model, then we shouldn't have a problem. Oh, that looks so cool. All right, I got the buck. Oh my God, bro, these, <laughs> it's like flies everywhere because it's hot. Anyways, um, a little S2000 right there. But we got the uh, box to open. Oh my God, this is legit. <laughs> this is uh, some real JDM, real JDM parts right here. I think we got the, uh, they got my mom for this. I can't read any. All right guys, I'm pretty sure uh, these have never been taken off before because, oh my God, I don't know if I just broke that. Did I just break it? I don't know how to take them off. It's supposed to just, oh wait, I think it's supposed to slide off. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I don't know what the point, oh my God, it's dirty. These, these BB gun pellets? Bro, the previous owner was a shooter. Kept that thing on him. I brought the entire set. It's a 16. I'm pretty sure it's like a 14. Ooh, yeah, there was 14s for the seats. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this one out. That's tightening it. I definitely don't want to do that. Sorry, guys. This is really hard to do one-handed. Okay. Always get see this thing. This thing is nice how it swivels because then I can like get some nice force on it. Never mind, I'm stripping it. Hold on. All right, guys, my bad. That was a two-person, two-handed job. So I got them loose. Get the screws out. Get that one. I've never taken these seats out, by the way, guys. So that's why they're, you know, they're pretty, pretty in there. And yeah, they're pretty in there. So got them out. Oh my God, it's so weird. Have this seat, okay, move it forward. Jesus Christ, looks like a war back here. Looks like, I'm not gonna mention the war because I'll get demonetized, but this is, this looks like there was a war back here, okay. Take this thing out, pull this latch strap off so I can release the seat belt. There's one more like little bolt. I have no idea who designed it. I think you guys can see that. Hold on. It's a great bro. Who did who designed that? Whose call was that to put that there? Who engineered that and said we need a, a random ass? Who designed that and said we need a random ass like I don't even know what it is like an extra bolt like it's a fifth bolt it, like normally seats are just four points but I don't know safety switch. I don't know what the switch is for because cars, no safety, is no airbags, nothing. So I'm not entirely sure why it was there for whatever. It's not a comfortable, I'm not going to lie. It's not that heavy too. I mean, probably like 30, 30 pounds. So I kept DCs actually aren't that heavy. I thought I'd be cutting a lot more weight, but uh, I guess not. I mean, to be honest, yeah, they're only like 30, 40 pounds. With like power seats, like my BMW seats, but when I took those out, 
it took like me and my dad just to take them out because they're like probably like 60, 70 pounds a piece because uh, they had four motors in them. There's, there's, these are all mechanical, so there's no mo motors, which actually weigh a lot of, weigh a lot, weigh a lot, you know. I don't know if you guys can see this, but um. Oh my God! What is that? All right, man. Look, like this is my daily for a while, so I'm a little embarrassed. Obviously, it's pretty embarrassing, but yeah, there's a lot of crap in the car. Uh, I would take this everywhere. Literally, I would drive. I drove this thing to SoCal and back. Obviously, I didn't make it back, but I still drove it to SoCal and tried to make it back. So, um, yeah, we need to we need to clean the car. Dude, there's so much. Oh, there's like glass back here. Oh. Why do you guys see that? There's really like broken glass in here. I think I just cut myself. It's fine. Probably like 20 year old McDonald's ketchup packet to come up for sure. A couple quarters this is uh, probably like a minute at the car wash because you can't wash your car in front of your house anymore because it's illegal because we're in a drought. So save the environment. You guys see, I mean, it's a lot better than it was before. I'll tell you that. It's actually like visible and there's not crap everywhere. So. That's a dub in my books. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing left to do is to put in the seat, see if it fits. All right, let's see if it, uh... Oh, wait. How do I use the slider? Bro, it lines up. It's good. All the holes match. Uh, everything's good. So, yeah, it's, uh... Get the seat in, I guess. If it fits, I mean, I hope it doesn't. I mean, I hope it doesn't hit the door card. I hope it fits. I hope it doesn't hit this door card. I've heard that these seats can hit the door card, so I'm a little concerned, but we'll see. All right, guys, after freaking like 30 minutes of construction, I I think this was here before. It's like a small scratch on the back, kind of depressed about that. Whatever, seats are still in good condition, but yeah, so these are the low max seats. I, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna cut this, dude. This is like annoying. Uh, this is for like when the seat belt's on like uh, not in or it's not clicked in, like makes like a, a warning. But I'm pretty sure that has been disabled because I haven't. Why am I bleeding? You see that? Why am I bleeding? Oh, f f in the chat. Um, but yeah, this is just like gonna get in the way. But uh, this is a low max seat. However, I can't get it that low because the the, the seat's about to hit the bolts right here. So this isn't the exact rail that I'm supposed to have for it, even though they said it'd fit. If they said motorsports, I mean, it does fit, but it doesn't go as low as I'd like it to. But whatever, you know, we'll see. Uh, credit to uh, Vesa for having it in stock even. So got to give them credit for that. Uh, so, you know. All right, this is going to be a difficult task, but we're going to figure it out. wasn't so bad. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder than it was. But uh it actually went in not not too bad so let's uh let's get it all bolted in. My God, they look so good in the FD, especially with the. Uh... Okay, I need to. These need to go. Goodbye, stock, bro. Sorry, I don't mess with that. Um, especially with the. Uh... I forgot what. I don't know what uh, floor mats these are, but they're from Griffin and Ethan. So, it looks so. Oh my God, dude. Wait. No, dude. This is gonna be a problem. Look how. <sighs> this is what I was afraid of. Let me just. Let me sit in it real quick. Oh, bro, oh, it feels, dude, it feels so cold. Wait, let me scoot it up. It's like, my I can't reach, dude, with my feet. Uh. All right, guys, so 
one thing I noticed is that they're about the same height as my stock seats. If not, like, my head actually hits the ceiling if I'm, if I'm all the way up like this. So I think I do need different brackets. The guys at Evasive said they fit, but it doesn't fit for me. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But, I mean, they work. I'm probably going to run them, but it's just, like, it's a little uncomfortable if I'm, like, sitting, like, fully, fully straight and my head hits the ceiling. So, not only that, but I'm pretty sure that, oh, I mean, oh, I'm, oh, yeah, it's touching, it's, like, barely touching. Yeah, it's going to, like, leave an indentation, probably. It's only because I sit so close that it, um... Probably that's why it clears. All right, so yeah, I clearly need door cards or I need to switch out the seats. I mean, I'm not taking them out. I guess the bolster's just gonna get a little, like knocked in. I guess this, yeah, this bolster, I mean, if you could see like right here, it's just, you guys can see that, but yeah, it's just gonna basically be, Hitting right here, so I don't know uh, if I can trade them. I know Zeta Fours for sure will fit this car even without door cards. I, I was planning on going door cards anyways because you know race car, um, but whatever. Oh god. Uh, okay, I'm in the car. I have these like little bandanas. I'm gonna go get a black one right now because I want it to match, but yeah, we're gonna go test out the seat. I don't exactly know what to... I don't exactly know what to expect. Um, I mean, my hopes are... I mean, my hopes already been kind of shattered a little because they, the seats don't really fit me that well because I need either a low max seat or I need the different bride rails that aren't in stock and they're special order from Japan. They're probably back ordered like 10 years. So, that's not bad. Stock seat belt's not, it's a little high, but okay. One thing I'm noticing is I do feel a little bit higher than my normal seat. Also, my phone doesn't fit in my pocket because it's so tight. It's so tight down here that, like, it's discomforting having my phone in my pocket. So, luckily, I have this phone down here. But, yeah, having my phone literally in the side was, like, painful. Ah. Or not painful, but it was, like, uncomfortable. So. Yeah, I mean... It's not as bad as I thought when actually driving. I can still get all my shifts right. Take some turns. Something just slid back there. Oh, it's just some papers. It's okay. Another thing 
which I don't know how that's gonna be when I get lower seats because then ooh, the car just died. Because then the uh, if I get lower seats, then the seatbelt will sit even lower. So maybe I can like no, that's not that's not safe. Oh, I'll probably just die from this. Yeah, I mean, the seatbelt sits a little high, but there's nothing I can really do about that. I mean, the true test comes when I can, like, rip, you know, rip the mountain with the boys. We'll, uh, we'll see how, what, like, how it'll fare. But obviously, like, this is, like, I'm dailing it right now. Like, I'm just, like, putting around and obviously, like... I mean, yeah, racing seats are cool, but obviously, like, ergonomically, the stock seats are going to be more comfortable just putting around on the street day to day, uh, you know, when you're just getting groceries or something. I don't do that in this car, but obviously, I'm, right now, how I'm driving, it's just like, I'm, you know, just putting around, so. I mean, yeah, I just don't like how high they sit. Let me take this turn. Wow. Yeah, I did not move at all uh, when I took that turn. I did not move one bit. That was, my neighbor was kind of looking at me. I didn't take the turn that fast. I took it just at an above average speed, but yeah, I mean, it kept me in the seat. I didn't move at all. I didn't move like one bit, but normally I'd be trying to brace myself. You know, it's weird not bracing myself because usually I'm used to like trying to hold myself into the stock seat because the bolsters are blown out because it's such an old car uh, and if they're sun damaged and faded I mean you guys have seen them before they're just not in the best condition so yeah these ones are uh, definitely a big upgrade uh, like holding me in wise but like comfortability obviously I prefer the stock seats but we uh we only send out here so yeah going on guys if you made it to the end thank you so much i'm super tired right now it's like 2 a.m um but yeah if you guys like these kind of vids you know where i'm installing stuff or fixing stuff uh feel free to drop a like and if you're new to the channel feel free to subscribe too because i do a lot of driving videos too it's just today i was installing the seats which took like a very long time to construct and like try to fit in only for it to not fit so a little disappointing uh i hope evasive motorsports i hope they get back to me i reached out to them like saying like hey these didn't really fit like you said they would, so we'll see what they say. But yeah, anyways, uh, until the next vid, guys, thanks for staying, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.